Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. So in the previous video, we talked about list comprehension syntax in Python. So in this video, we're going to do a little practice. I have four problems here, and I want you to just pause the video for a minute or two and try to figure out how to use Python's list comprehension syntax to generate the following results. All right, so let's start with the first one. We have S is a string watermelon. Actually, uh, they're all watermelon. Okay, so what we want for a result is we just want, let's see, all the uppercase letters of S, right? So it's just watermelon, but each character is uppercase. So the way we would do this is you have uh, your result, and then you just take uh, character, right? Because this will be our element, character dot upper for character in S. And then why don't we print our result just to make sure. And we get watermelon, but uppercase. Okay, so that one was, wasn't was so bad. Now, what about this next one? What is What do we have here? We have uh, the characters of S, but something's missing, right? Uh, the vowels are missing. So basically, we want all the characters that are not vowels. So in... Uh, uh, using a regular for loop, you would just do result is an empty list. You would say for car in S, if car not in a e i o u, and then why don't we do uppercase as well, just to be extra sure. Uh, result, oops, result, come on, result dot append car, and then we print result. So we were to do that we get WTR MLN, which is what we have here. So what we do is we take this character, right? So you just take car, then you put in your for loop. So why don't we copy and paste that? And then your if condition. And then let's save and then run it. We get the same thing, right? Okay, so that's the second one. What about the third one? So the third one is actually pretty simple. It's just the first five characters of S, right? So you just take your result and then we'll say uh, S of I for I in range five. And that's it. Um, you can't really do uh, car for car in uh, S and then somehow get the first five, you have to specify the indices, right? So in this case, it's from index zero to index five, but not including five. Okay, so let's run it. Uh, oops, I forgot to print it. And then we get water. Okay, cool. And then finally, our last one. This one's a little tricky because uh, we're basically printing, we're not printing, but we're generating a list with all the characters of S, but we want it in reverse order. So one way we could do this is we can reverse S itself, or we can just iterate backwards. We can iterate from N to W. And the way we do that is you just start at length minus one, and then you stop at negative one, and you go down by steps of negative one. So the way we would do it is for I in range, you start at n, n is the length of s minus 1, and then you stop at negative 1, but don't include negative 1, so really you're stopping at 0, which is at index 0 we have w, and then you go down by steps of negative 1, and then you take result, and you just append uh, s of i, and then we print our result, we get watermelon but uh, backwards. So to turn this into our list comprehension syntax, we just take s of i, right? What's inside our append? And then we just take our for loop. So for i in range length of s minus one, negative one, negative one. And then we get rid of this, save and then run it, and we get watermelon but backwards, okay? So that's it for uh, this video's practice, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.